Do you know that Adobe Illustrator recently dropped a new beta version with several features that can save you hours of work as a brand designer? Today we're going to test them out while working on a fun new e-commerce brand. Let's dive right in. First, I'm going to use ChatGPT to create a prompt for our brand. Let's ask ChatGPT the following. Create a logo design brief for an e-commerce shop company that sells boutique candles with unusual scents. The target audience for the company's products is Gen Z. Great, here's what we got. We are working on an e-commerce shop offering handmade candles with unique quirky scents targeting Gen Z. The brand is called Vibes and offers funky blends such as Chill Zone, Bonfire Beads, Sunset Serenade and Matcha Latte Lounge. The logo style should be fun, modern and edgy. We are aiming for a bold, vibrant and fresh color palette and modern, bold and readable tip now that we have our brief in hand, let's head to Pinterest, Dribbble and Behance and create a suitable mood board to guide our design decisions. We have our brief and mood board ready, so let's dive right in and open up Adobe Illustrator's beta version. First up, let's explore the retype feature. This tool allows us to match and download fonts similar to those in your mood board directly from Adobe Fonts. It's a real-time saver and makes the process of looking for fonts so much easier and quicker. For our candle brand vibes, we are hunting for a modern, bold and readable typeface. I've selected several images with typefaces that I believe are going to fit the brand's personality. To begin, we'll select our first image and navigate to the type menu and then go to retype. A new panel will appear. Here you can highlight the specific text in your image and the retype panel will display similar fonts available for download directly from Adobe Fonts. Activate your chosen font by simply clicking this little button here. If you want a sneak peek of your selected word in the new typeface, just type it out in the panel. Once you're finished and ready to discover more options, hit the exit retype button. It's as easy as that. Moving on to our next image, there's a particular font here that has caught my eye and it's already in my collection. So let's type out our brand name vibes and apply this typeface. Now let's repeat this selection process browsing through each image until we've identified all the fonts or discovered ones that are very similar. And here's a handy tip, never hesitate to play around with your chosen fonts. A bit of customizing and tweaking can turn a generic typeface into something uniquely suited to your brand. Here we are, the final selection. The first option has a certain boldness, readability and and modern flair that in my opinion perfectly resonates with our target audience. So let's delete everything else and start customizing the typography so we have something that truly stands out. For this process I'll be leveraging a mix of tools but my go-to is the pencil tool. If you want to learn how to design logos using the pencil tool I've got you covered. I have a dedicated video tutorial so be sure to check it out right here. Now that we have our word mark ready, let's move on to the next step. We are going to make some custom illustrations to represent the Sunset Serenade scent. This fragrance is a unique mix of blood orange, pink grapefruit and a hint of sea salt. Next, we also need a color palette. We are focusing on vibrant and bold color combinations. So let's use the second new feature, which is the generative recolor tool. This tool utilizes text prompts and AI in order to generate suitable color palettes. We are going to use this tool in order to recolor the vector illustration we've created. Just select your design, hit the recolor button here, and you see the new generative recolor tool. It offers a variety of prompts to choose from or 
you can get creative and type your own idea into the box provided. This way you can quickly test out different color palettes and then tweak them until you get them just right. It's a great time-saving feature that also provides easy customization of the prompts to ensure your colors align perfectly with the brand's style. Finally, to truly visualize our design and help our client grasp our creative decisions, we also need a mock-up of a candle. Adobe Illustrator has thought of that as well. The third mind-blowing new feature we're going to use is the mock-up tool. First, you need to find a stock photo of the object you want to place the logo design on. In our case, that will be a glass candle jar. Then import this photo in Adobe Illustrator. I've also created a label for our candle. Keep in mind that all the elements of this label need to be grouped together. Then let's position the label on top of the candle image and align everything as precisely as possible. Now here's where the magic comes. Select both the image and the vector elements and then go to Object Mockup. As you can see, Adobe Illustrator is now allowing you to follow the shape of the object you're working on and adjust the positioning of the elements. The mockup is not quite perfect yet, but keep in mind this feature is still in beta version and it's a great way to quickly test out design ideas on mockups without having to switch to Photoshop. Additionally, you can also choose a suitable blending mode to make the mockup look even more realistic. And that's it. Be sure to drop a comment below and let me know which illustration tool you like the most. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you never miss out any future videos. If you're searching for free design and e-commerce resources check out my website at albena.design and go to the resources page. You will find a link to the freebies in the description box below. And if you have more free time check out this video on how how to use the pencil tool in order to create cool vector illustrations. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.